All right, in this video, we're going to do some uh, uh, re-keying here. I've got two Yale mortise cylinders. One is uh, one and an eighth, one's one and a quarter inch long. These are both, uh, they're drilled five, or drilled six, pin five. Uh, a buddy of mine is buying these from me. He wants to uh, uh, pick some Yale keyways. So I'm going to, they're both keyed the same now. I'm going to re-key one. I'm adding sixth pin to both. Try to just pin it off the tip because I don't have any six pin keys. I've uh, already taken the cams off just to save time here. So um, we'll start with, um, I guess we'll just start with rekeying this one. So they're both right now on this key. And of course to uh, rekey one of these here, we'll need to use a follower here to get the pins out. And since this is actually new here, I'm going to try to actually just save the pins. You need to just throw these away, but these are, these are new, so they're not dirty or messed up or worn or anything. And then uh, it's going to be our new key right here. It's going to be a, it looks like 13534 is the key I had laying around. And also in the interest of time, I have laid the pins out. So. Thought I laid the pins out anyways. Helps me put them in the right order. And then I'm going to try to pin one off the tip here. So you see the right, we got all five flush here, and then guessing off the tip. Now this key, just looking at it here, I haven't, I haven't uh, done this on a Yale. So the one I initially guessed was actually 280, and that is not long enough here, so. You just basically just go up until you find one that fits here. This is, this is a 3.300, it's still too short. It was way too short, I'm going to try a 0.325 inch pin. Uh, that looks like a winner right there, 0.325. All right, and then I can't insert this back in yet because it doesn't have the driver over the sixth pin. And so what I'm gonna do, it's easier to add a pin if you have the groove in the end of the follower. So I'm gonna put it in this way. <clears throat> and then I've got, And Yale, Yale actually, um, they like different size top pins depending on the size of the pin. I'm just going to go with a 150, which is a little bit longer than it would recommend for one this long, but it should be fine. Get that lined up here. All right, and then if you can't put a mortise, you can't put a mortise uh, plug back in without having a grooved follower. Why you lose a pin here? So to switch followers again here. <clears throat> we'll just insert it in, and if all went well, this should turn. Okay, good enough. And then. And all that's left. So another thing too when you're rekeying stuff is you want to always, always, always make sure you put your thumb and hold the plug in when you pull the key out. I can't stress that enough because you don't want it to come out and drop all your top pins. And so then I'll just put the uh, cam back on later, just in the interest of time here. Okay, so that one's done. And now we'll. Uh, Try to add a pin to this one, so I'll take the key that works. And follow over here. I'm just going to do the same thing. Just going to drop a spring in.
top pin. And switch followers. And I'm going to try to pin this off the tip here. Um, yeah, 280 is too short for these keys. I just set up the video here. I tried it with a uh, factory cut US lock key, and um, 280 was good on that one. But these these blanks here didn't done more. You know, these. I'm gonna try 325 again. Yeah, it looks like it should work here. So. In and works good okay now once again can't stress enough thumb down when you pull it out because you don't want the whole thing coming out okay and then all that's left now is just uh, putting the cams back on and then we got two uh, you know two cylinders the other five pin keys but they're pin six and I just pack them up and I'm gonna be sending them off here on uh, a couple days on Monday and uh, that'll uh, that'll do it for now.